Hey everyone, Spec from Recline Gamers back for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, episode 58. Last episode, we finished the Magma Aqua storyline by getting a Quaza to separate the Kyogre and Groudon in this episode. Wait, before I go any further, first, uh, off screen, I trained all my Pokemon. Everyone got to level 40 and above. And I taught Dovahkiin Brick Break. And uh, Randy remained the same. Leonard learned Amnesia. Herpeter pretty much remained the same. Binky Boy leveled up a bit, but no really new moves. And Flalica G6 is fine. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Shutopolis gym leader, Juan. Uh, I can make so many Mexican jokes right now. You know, I'm just going to say one right now. How many Mexicans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one. Ah, uh, get it. Okay. Well, the point of this gym, the puzzle system is you gotta go on those ice, uh, those ice things, but you can only step on them one time before they crack and it breaks under you. But don't worry, you won't die if you fall. You just fall to the, to the basement, I guess, if you want to call it that. And, you, and pretty much there's a bunch of trainers there and you gotta battle them in order to get to the staircase that leads to the world above again. Uh, that was a lot of speaking. And guys, I'm sorry if I'm gonna be lacking in this commentary. It's because this is probably my third time narrating it. Narrating this episode because the first time I narrated it, I forgot to press the record button. The second time I narrated it, it corrupted or something like that. I have no clue. I'm praying to God that something's not wrong. Because if this thing like, corrupts, I'm just going to be angry and I may just stop for another week. But hopefully nothing goes wrong. <sighs> so there goes last Andrea and she's just like, I'm sorry, Juan. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how the puzzle works and everything. The, to get past this one, you gotta pretty much make like a Z almost. To get past this one, you gotta do exactly what I'm doing now. As soon as like you get to the end, as soon as like uh, you make all the ice tiles cracked, the staircase opens up. But if you step, but you gotta make sure you're at the end, or else if you're just gonna fall through the cracked tiles again. So. Uh, and there, you, and now we can battle Juan, but I'm not because I want to train my team. Now this is where the episode's gonna get pretty boring because I gotta battle like six trainers, and I really have no material to talk about. So I honestly have nothing to talk about. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, guys, my HD PVR came in the mail, but there's a problem. I need to, to, in order to record, like, Xbox and uh, PS3 videos, I need to get a Turtle Beach and this special wire because my uh, t my flat screen does not have the imports. My dad offered to switch my flat screen in my room with the one in my mom's room, but that one's about, like, th mine's like 32 inch, mom my mom's is like 26 inch. And it's pretty small looking, and I don't know, I may not use it. I'm gonna try to see if I may be able to get a new TV one of these days. I mean, I saw a really cheap one, like 300 bucks. It was like the same size as my TV, which was a really good deal. And it had all the imports and everything. It was a Samsung. It was, it's a good TV. I was like, whoa. But I'm, bro I'm dirt broke right now. So, yeah. And plus, if I want to record, like, Legend of Zelda games, I can't do that because they're on the Wii and Turtle Beach does not work with the Wii. So I have a lot of problems I need to fix, and I have no clue how I'm going to go at this. So I'm probably just going to stick with the classic GBA games. Oh, great. Now my friend is texting me asking how much is IMAX because she's going to see uh, Avengers later. I really want to see that movie. My God, Avengers looks so good. I, me and my uh, me and my parents are probably gonna go see it Sunday, but 
then next week I'm probably gonna want to see it again. So next weekend I'm gonna see it with Ace Overlord and probably some other friends of ours. But we have no clue who else. But they're guaranteed. We're definitely going with. I'm definitely going with those two. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so what else can I talk about? Um, oh yeah, I, I started watching this anime, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I already told you, I'm watching Fairy Tale. It's actually a great anime, guys, I recommend you watch it if you're a fan of anime. The top animes I recommend to you are One Piece, Naruto, Fairy Tale, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't know, I just do not like Alchemist, like the original, I like the remake of Brotherhood, I like that much more. But we all have our different opinions. If you don't want to, it's fine. But, uh, what else? Oh my god. I'm, like, in a good mood right now. Like, I'm actually thinking this is a better, like, narration than my last two episodes. I mean, last two tries at it. Because I just kept being silent and boring as balls in my last two, uh, narrations that got corrupted. And I was just like, hey guys, but now I feel full of energy and I just want to take on the world right now. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, hopefully I don't burn myself out in the next five minutes. Because I still have about half the video to go. So, what else can I talk about? Yeah, I think that pretty much covered it. I have no clue what my next Let's Play is going to be. Actually, I have a pretty good idea, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh, and summer's almost here, so I'm pretty happy about that. Summertime, summertime, time to make some more Let's Play videos. Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I mean, I try and make them somewhat entertaining, but I don't know. They just don't seem that entertaining. Uh, but um, we're doing, um, our channel's doing good right now. We have 28 subscribers and like a thousand something views. And that's only, it's only been like two months and usually like the minor LP channels that just start going only have about the reviews maybe. I mean, <laughs> not three views, <laughs> like five subscribers. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, more than that. But we're doing pretty well. I'm happy. I'm in a good mood about that. Oh, I screwed up. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So I'm. Pr I like this game. The Emerald has to be a great game, but this ha this is not my favorite gym though. It's, ha it's a good gym. I like it, but like after this gym, like, I don't know. I feel like the game gets really boring. Besides the victory, actually, the game's boring stage passed. It got boring at. Little Cove, but I don't know, like I just snapped out of it, and since I'm doing a let's play on it, I guess I just, the boring stage didn't really come for me. Let me ask you, did you know, I, I used to teach Wallace, but I, but he gave up the position and gave it to me, because he had to go do something, but bear witness to the grand illusion of water. And that then now we have to battle one. Look at that fly mustache and hair and coat. And now we're gonna be sending out Randy so Randy can level up eventually. Let's go for the T bolt on this thing. This should be a one shot kill. Make sure you're faster than Love Disc, because Love Disc is a it's it's not that fast, but it's still if it gets a sweet kiss on you and you're confused, it's gonna be quite annoying. Oh, I should really set a switch there. I forgot uh, which cache is ground type, but whatever. Let's go to Dovahkiin right now. Actually, wait. Yeah, let's go for Dovahkiin. I was thinking if I could send out anyone else, because I don't know. I feel like other people should be getting experience from this gym battle. But I might as well just use Randy and Dovahkiin. I mean, they, they should be able to handle this. Okay, hang in there. You okay? Let's go for the Leaf Blade. Uh, I really love that move, Leaf Blade. It just looks so cool. <sighs> what was I going to talk about? I was just about to, like, make a good topic. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you guys want to, like, rape this gym, I recommend you bring a grass type and ele an electric type. Just for... And something... I guess something that also resists water, maybe, like a lantern. Because 
it has water absorb and it's electric type. But then again, that wish cash would pretty much kill you, so get a grass type. Uh, so, oh yeah, here's a Celio. Celio is the evolution of Seal. We have not seen a Seal yet. I'm surprised. It's in a special cave. I have to like go there soon. I'll probably go it post game because uh, I'm gonna like do a lot of things after the game. So. Don't worry, as soon as I beat the champion, the game's not going to end. It's going to keep going, and I'm going to show you what else is here, and, it'll, and all that. So, let's kill Randy. I mean, not Randy. Let's kill that Crawdont. And, oh, Randy's trying to learn Thunder. Hmm, can I really get in, rid of anything for that? Eh, not really, because Quick Attack's like one of those, what do you call it? It's a priority move. I mean, it doesn't do that much, but it's still a good, like, if the opponent's faster, but you, but, uh, he has less hit points than you and he's at, like, a red, it's always good to have, like, that one quick attack to just kill him. Oh, please live, Randy. Okay, Randy lives with eight hit points. That's terrible, but, uh, let's see what T-Bolt does. It's gonna do a bit, not that much at all. Um... Let's go for the quick attack. Nothing to jack balls. Okay. So, Randy's out for the count. Let's go for Dovahkiin. Dovahkiin should be able to do this. Hey guys, I'm just going to respond to this text message. Because, well, I didn't really respond yet. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I think IMAX is like... Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Oh, uh, really double team. This Kingdra has to be the most annoying thing in the history of anything. Because I go for the Leaf Blade, and it, like, go and, and it uses rest to restore its health, then, oh, then he uses the Chesto Berry to wake up, then he uses Double Team, it's like the most annoying thing ever, it's running Water po okay, just so you know, I'm not sure what it's next move is, it could be Sleep Talk or Snore or something like that, but as far as I know, this thing knows Water Pulse, uh, Rest and Double Team, and it's running a Chesto Berry so it can revive itself after the sleep. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Kingdra is a water dragon type, just so you know. It's the evolution of Horsey and Seedra. We have not seen them yet, but if any of you watched the anime first season, it is in the first generation. And it, I, I don't know, I really like Seedra and Horsey. But it just made it so much cooler when, like, if you give Seedra a dragon scale and trade it, it becomes a Kingdra, and it just looks so cool, and it learns, like, Dragon Dance, all these cool attacks, and I don't know. It's it's a cool Pokemon. I like it. Uh, okay. Damn it. But in this gen, it really is not good with Dragon Dance, since Dragon and Water are both special attacks, and it really will not work for it. So that Leaf Blade should be able to KO it. And it does. Good, 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 very good, very good job. Okay. There we go. And there goes Juan. And he's just like, hey, do you want my coat? And I'm just like, I merely jet. And he, uh, he's like, hey, do you want my coat? I merely jest. Ha ha ha. Take this rain badge, TM03, also known as Water Pulse. The rain badge in this game pretty much lets you use, uh, it lets you use HM Waterfall, and it also allows you to, for all traded Pokemon to obey you. So pretend like your friend traded over a Pokemon, it would disobey you if it was a high level. But now, since you've got the last gym badge, this pretty much happens in every game. After you get the last gym badge, it obeys you now. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. I will upload a new one soon. I'll talk to you all later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.